You know what? I'll As a person who likes to make money, I will sell you this pen for one million onion nuggets. What is this, though? Is this worse, maybe? At least I get to look I mean, at that cute ben, little... I mean, at least Ben Shapiro has that media training, or at least some ability yeah, there. Yeah, he can at least talk and make a show. I was going to say, look at that cute little twink Ben, but he does not look like a twink now. No, he's uh, he's aged he's grizzled. out. He's grizzled. He has suffered what they call twink death, Paul. Oh no! <laughs> is that really a thing? Yeah, dude, you know, no, you know no, I've never twink heard of that. Death? What is it? It's when you're no longer a twink. It's when you were a but twink. How do, but how do you stop becoming like? How do you go from twink to not a twink? Well, I mean, you know, one day you're a twink, and then one day you're no longer a twink. You know, they look at you and they're like, you know what? They no. did, they have the moment Paul just had. We're like, I was gonna say, look at that cute twink, but <laughs> you don't really look like a cute twink anymore. What, 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 that's twink death, what is the twink? De- de- like, what do they do after that? Like, what do they become? They're just not a twink anymore. Like, nothing they think- anymore. Yeah. Nothing. Oh what no! Have I become? <laughs> it's like that's gotta be a. That's gotta suck if you're a twink and you're like known as a twink and it's suddenly like you're not a twink anymore. It's like what? My sweetest friend. <laughs> <laughs> Every twink I know turns fugly. In the end, oh, that's harsh. And Did you I know can have it all, my little speedo, too. <laughs> all right. Anyway, here you go. This junk. I, I gotta tell you, it's you're a moron if you fall for this. See, the problem is you can't go twink death to bear bird. I mean, some some could pull it off. Ben Shapiro is not be able to be a bear though. He's too small. He's too small. Why is this happening? It's because I called you. A, so I said you had suffer, you suffered twink death. Now you're not going to play the video. Come on. Yeah, dude. Twink, twink death is harsh, dude. Ooh, I'm just coping junk. with twink death. I, I didn't know what happened. Right. I thought twinks were at like an eternal spring. Yeah, I so did nah, I, dude. Dude, I just like, know yeah, the spring twink turned twink. into summer and then summer to fall and then fall yeah. to winter, you know? Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean I didn't know I was I was fucking... No, dude, it's a revelation to me and Paul. Like, I had no fucking clue. I think me and Paul thought there was a magical land, like you know, like your dog goes off to the farm or some shit. Yeah. Like the twink goes off to the twink farm is <laughs> yeah. happy forever. You know? Yeah, I didn't think they just like assimilated into society and became like nobodies. That's fucked, dude. Twink. Is, I thought you were fucking around, dude. This nah, is legit dude. shit, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go to I'll go to the um you like uh urban dictionary. I, I do, you. yeah. Um we'll do urban dictionary. <laughs> Twink death. Yeah, so um here's the urban dictionary. And uh, they have a they they're saying it's at 30, but it's really more of a vibe thing, I think. When a twink when turns, a twink turns 30, uh, they are looked at as dead by the rest of the gay community. Twink death. When a man who was previously described as a twink, typically at a young age, is shown later in life as particularly ugly. Fuck. When a young, gorgeous man gets old. When a twink turns 18, they are looked at as dead by the rest of you. This person's a f- wow. gator, dude. Twink yeah. death, bro. <laughs> this is this is dark, man. Twink death. I'm sorry, I but he's think- undergone twink death. There's nothing we can do for him. I think him. it's mean. It is mean. Do you get kicked out of all the gay clubs and stuff like you're dancing and then you turn 30 and they're just like, get the f- out. Dude, dude, get out. Twink you're not death. a twink no more. Your twink uh, status is revoked. Get out, twink. Dude, we can make a gay get dystopian out, movie. Twink. Actually, a gay stuff movie where like, oh, uh, dude, that's even better. Where you age out of being a twink and they have to kill you, dude. Gone in the twink of an eye. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that's the name of my movie, dude. Gone in the twink of an eye. All right. I gotta oh, tell you, it's, God, dude, you're a moron. Yeah, the you think about it. Yeah, the, the reason or prices are going up, dude. You know, he's turning into. Who is this, is this gonna be anti-Semitic? Maybe. Never mind. It's because people got greedier. In the last three years, kind of Eugene. Good on Levy, you, though. TJ. That shows initiative and growth. Yeah, he's turning. He's turning. He's turning Eugene Levy a little bit. Okay. It's happening around the eyebrows. I think there might also be a little Groucho Marx going on. Personal growth. It's TJ. happening. Personal growth. It's not. I decided it's not anti-Semitic. It's fine. Okay. There's not was because, it, was it anti-Semitic? Oh. because Joe Biden and team completely blew out the spending. So, Scotty, you're the one that picked this, so uh, I'm assuming you're going to have some issues with what he's going to say here. Because the interest rates were way too low for too long. If you don't, if you don't, if you think it's not that, you think that it's just Bob down at the local hardware store has been jacking up the 
Is he like trying to make his voice deeper? Hang on, no, I don't know what he's doing. To be up to be frank, like, it's like he's on a game stream and he wants to sound That's like he's I, not. I decided to bring my voice down an octave. I'm gonna talk like this now. Yes, guys, it's me, Ben. Because his real voice more like this. <laughs> no, it's Ben here. When his twink death occurred, did his voice change too? It does. It dropped like three octaves. It is, dude. It's something up. happened, bro. Something is there not right the in Denmark. In every Joe's life, where they go into the cocoon of Groucho Marx <laughs> and they turn into an old Jewish man. Why did you question Coming. the first one and not that one before you said it? <laughs> oh, because well, that one was actually that one was too. That one, was too, that one went too far. Hold on, you said Jews cocoon. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's not good. You did. So no. basically, the argument here is Ben is saying inflation was they caused call- by a Biden administration <laughs> that's policies. Even, that's, that's, wait, wait. Cocoon? There's no. There's nothing, nothing about that rhymes with Jew. I was gonna be like Jew coon, but then that's like that sounds like the most racist term ever. Oh my so, yeah, god! That's like doubly <laughs> triple. Yeah, that's not good. No, that's not TJ. Good. Bad Two TJ. Birds. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Racism, TJ. Oops. Terrible, TJ. <laughs> Meet Thing, your function is to subscribe and become a Pessimist Productions patron. Enjoy live streams of Onion Nuggets every week. New Deep Fat Fried episodes every se- and other shows such as Ban and Hope, Hideology, You're Wrong, Fighting Boys, and click the link Meet Thing. Submit your flesh to my members. I don't think you know how basic economics works. The, okay, the, the, so the example he gives here is the price of hammers. Which is one it? of those uh, two caterpillars you think is going to win? Oh my God, TJ, you're... F- Useless, dude. All right, then you explain the economics of the I'm video. I'm sorry. I just want to know which of those two caterpillars <laughs> on his face are gonna win the battle. You're, look, TJ, can't even take the guy seriously. Which like, caterpillars the king? Oh, they, no, just rip on bench for him. I'm not even a fucking guy. Right, I'll, I'll shut up. No, I'm no, fuck you, I'm TJ. Done. No, no, you're a very fuck foolish there. notion that greed dictates prices. You're suggest there is no one on the other side of the table. Can you explain the economics of it now, you son of a fucking yeah. bitch. Listen, you know what? I'll As a person who likes to make money, I will sell you this pen for one million dollars. For one million dollars, I teach you. Any take out the offer, he'll sell you that pen for uh, sold right here, man. Sold. Um, would you buy it for a mil? Look at it, looks pretty nice. No, really, I wouldn't pay more than a hundred thousand right. for that pen. So, Ben's got you here, TJ. Curse, I'm greedy. I'm gonna sell this pen for a million dollars to you right now. Now. Can I actually sell the pen for a million dollars? Hey, Ben, no you know this example is bullshit because, yeah, Wait. no one no one is des- in desperate need of that pen right now. But, like, feeding their family and Wait. food and stuff like so that? His argument against the concept of price gouging is, Supply like... Supply and demand. Look, look at this. So if I was to try to sell this pen for, like, a million bucks, you wouldn't buy it. Therefore, price gouging is not even real. That's retarded. And by the way, they have the price of pens have gone up. Price have gone up significantly. But if you look at the items like energy, energy costs, housing costs, food costs, they've they all just fucking don't gone wanna, up super high. They don't want to tie inflation to corporate oh, greed. That's well, all no, it boils down to. Let's uh, okay. So let's make Ben's argument about housing. I need to rent an apartment. How much is it? Nine hundred dollars. Oh, that's really expensive. Oh, I don't know if I can do that one. And by the way, that's a super low price in America. Oh, gee, uh, you know what? I just won't have a house. F- it. I'll just be homeless, guys. That's what I'll do. Oh, food? You know what? How much that bag of uh, Doritos there? Like I'm boogie? I'll, I'll, okay, you know what? How about I'll be back out. How about that bag of potatoes? Oh, it's too expensive. I just won't eat any food. You might want to get the store brand club crackers, boogie. Now, give me a f- break, dude. It's like you can't talk about essential items that people need as if it's like a f- pen that's like, oh, would you pay a million dollars for a pen? Or no, how of course not, and no one else would either. Dipshit. You don't, that's not even how price gouging works. You know how price gouging works is like you raise it to the highest level yeah, you, you think someone will pay. Yeah, and you f- or you f- try to get them as a captive audience or whatever the f- you get them t- like trapped somewhere where they're stuck there by some kind of f- weird social circumstance or something like a concert or something. And then you get something. Yeah, like you go to a concert and you're not allowed to bring food in or water in. And you get fucking thirsty, and then you go to the fucking stands, and the water's fucking like eight bucks or some crazy shit because they can charge whatever they want because it's a captive fucking audience. That kind of shit. That's price gouging. Or, or her, during hurricanes, famously, yeah, like the, people they jack up oh, the gas, it's nine price, oh, it's fifty gas. bucks a gallon or whatever the fuck bullshit. Greedy I am. The answer is no, because you can buy a million pens like this for a million dollars. Because the pricing mechanism is not dependent on the subjective feelings of the seller.
It is dependent on the subjective feelings that's generally. That's that's not dependent on the actually, that's 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 that depends on the people <laughs> and the items you're talking about. Art, for example, has a lot of subjective value for not the person selling it, but the perception of people in the world. I've been so, watching it, dude. Ben, I've been watching those caterpillars battle, bro. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I've been watching. What's your money on, bud? Lefty, lefty or righty? Lefty left. looks like he's got a his lot of left or, uh, his right. left or your left? No, the right. The, your, the his other left. <laughs> the other left. I got gotcha. you. I think lefty is gonna win, dude. I think his oh, lefty is oh, what you're talking about, or, or my lefty. The Which one? Left this, from where I'm seeing. This one? Okay, yeah, this no, that one. That no, one? No, yeah. That's the one I'm betting no, on. No, this one, dude. No, this I'm one. going... This, this one's, one's already closer. This one's the champion, No, dude. it's already... No, you can tell it's the stupid. champion, bro. No, it's not, dude. Look how tough it looks. Nah, but you don't know what you're talking about. Like, of the purchaser. You don't think it's worth a million dollars. You ain't gonna spend a million dollars on this stupid pen. On the stupid pen. This is the biggest... Well, man, pen's not stupid, man. What the f*** did the pen do to you? The stupid pen? Like... Just because you want a million bucks for it doesn't mean the pen has no value, right? Yeah, I would say the guy trying to charge a million bucks for the pen is the stupid one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Load of horse crap. They've been dumping the... Uh, it is astonishing to me how economically illiterate Ameri Wait, uh, Americans are. But Ben, why did all... Okay, so it wasn't corporate greed. What were the profit levels of all these corporations who weren't being greedy? Oh, they were all through the f roof! No. That's right, Ben, no. but it wasn't corporate greed. That's Apparently. a crazy coincidence. So now Vice President Harris is going to call for price controls. Yes, that's worked everywhere it's been tried, including in Soviet Russia. Price control. Soviet Russia. They're communist. Stalin. You dude, scared every, yet? Every election, dude, they want to elect a communist. Every Democrat, no matter how mainstream they are, is some kind of crazy commie. They're all secret commies, dude. Don't you that know that? Pretty much how it works, though. If if you're real, oh, oh. oh shit, Control. they're all she secret knows. commies. Secret communist. Don't tell George Orwell; he might get upset. Best price for all goods and services are. She knows what those prices look like. She knows because in that little pea brain of hers, she has calculated out the subjective desires of 340 million Americans. Engage those. So, has he made a decision to talk differently? Has age made him talk differently? Or is he using different mic settings? Dude, I'll tell you what happened. I thought I know exactly what happened, dude. Ben was on some like Call of Duty or some shit, and like he was getting getting his, he was kicking some ass. Probably, I'm not even saying this. He's probably pretty good at the game. And every time he would like talk shit, they'd be like, "Whatever, bro. You're just a thirteen year old in your mom's basement." It's like, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not, because Ben has the voice of a 13-year-old in his mom's basement, like, that's talking super fast to you. That's exactly what he sounds like. So, of course, you're going to try dropping a couple of octaves. So, he sounds like he's got a pair of balls between his legs. Yes, so hello, it's me, Ben Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me. <laughs> that's what. This is ridiculous. I'm talking like this now. Take it's me more seriously. Respectable. Take me seriously. Please, take me seriously. Look how deep my voice is. It's deep, bro. <laughs> against the amount of money they have in their pockets. And so she knows precisely what prices should be. Not the market mechanism, not the aggregated desires that are the pricing mechanism in a free market economy. No, it's just her. Yeah, and let's because be honest, Ben, I doubt that's even the economic policy. Yeah. So did, did Kamala come out with a policy recently where I she's like, I will decide the prices of things. Red is 20 Me. cents. Ha ha, I made the, oh, let's look, Kamala price control. Let's what is think. the, Kamala Harris going to stand around and, and uh, decide prices on everything? It's going to take a long time. Kamala, how much is this? Mm -mm, I'll take it back to you. It's like, well, f I can't buy it then. Let's see, Kamala. Because in that tiny pea brain, the workings are so complex. The workings are so unbelievably nuanced that she knows the price of all the goods and services, which is why she can impose price controls, thus fixing the inflationary economy. Quote, is Politico. Vice President Kamala Harris on Friday will call on Congress to pass a federal ban on price gouging as part of her economic platform to lower grocery prices and everyday costs. That action to be announced during a speech in North Carolina is among others she will take in her first 100 days in office to lower high grocery costs, according to a campaign official. Do you understand this economic policy is the same thing as Michael Scott declaring bankruptcy in the office? She's literally saying that she's going to go into Congress and shout, no high prices, and then they'll pass a law that says no high prices, and then there will be no high prices. That's not how the world works. That's 
Okay. <laughs> Is that what's happening? Uh, that's, that's, that's how it's really going to happen, work. dude. You know who we need? How the world works. Yeah, Lee he can tell us. Yeah, where's Lee Doran? Don't you Where's still have his email? Lee Doran? Maybe I can look. Get that fucker on here because that's a good question. How does the world work? You know, I don't know. I've been wondering that shit myself. The FBI killed Martin Luther King. That is how the world works. Really? All right. So USA Today. So what does this price? What does this price? What does price gouging mean? And how Harris plan, uh, plans to control it in the grocery aisle? All right. Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris is expected to announce a plan to fight food inflation with a federal ban on price gouging on groceries. Okay. But how much this would help Americans, debatable econ- economists say. Over the past few years, Joe, uh, President Joe Biden's administration has uh, blamed corporate greed for the surge in inflation. Harris is expected to take up the torch on a speech Friday in North Carolina's capital city of Raleigh. Corporations raised uh, prices when snarled supply chains during the pandemic created shortages of nearly everything. And just never stopped or lowered prices after supply chain stabilized, they argue. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, that all makes sense to me. Uh, some companies odd. are keeping high prices, even though input costs are falling and supply chains are back to normal. The White House said in a new release in March, if higher grocery prices are a result of potential mergers between larger supermarkets and food producers and corporate greed, Americans may benefit from Harris's approach. However, many economists have doubts such a policy would be effective for various reasons, including whether price gouging is the root of inflation at all. Michael Ashton, a managing principal at Enduring Investments, LLC, sounds like a really unbiased guy to ask, uh, just my opinion, uh, who specializes in inflation analysis, questioned the existence of price gouging is in an industry as competitive as grocery. So he's saying, oh, it's, just, I mean, it's too competitive, so how could it even be? Why did the price gouging start in 2021-2022, uh, he asked. Did grocers just not realize they had this power before then, or did they not get greedy until 2021? No, they were always greedy. Profit margins in the food industry already tend to be among the lowest net profit mer- uh, margin in 2023. Uh, the grocery industry hit 1.6%, the lowest forum, uh, lowest since 2019, according to FM, FMI, the Food Industry Association. Wow, what another reliable source. Uh, then it's just in the pandemic causing food prices to spike. Let's see. Hey, wait. I mean, these people are idiots. He's denying the existence because there's so much competition. And in their world of pseudo libertarian bullshit, competition drives prices down. But they ignore the actual evidence that the, the problems with the supply chain have been fixed. The costs to them have gone down, but they've not passed those savings on to the fucking consumer. So it's fucking evident the price gouging is happening. Well, and there's been massive consolidation so in how industries. The fuck is, you can't even deny it. The evidence is right there before your ba- it, very fucking eyeballs. It, it, look, 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 okay, think about most major metropolitan Now, what markets. I don't get, what I don't understand is how the fuck Kamala Harris is going to legislate shit against price gouging. How do you define it? Like, well, what is the metric of it? Well, that's probably a complex legal issue that I don't think any of us are qualified to actually answer that part of it. Well, that's the, th- that's I the one say thing this, I want to th- know about all but, this. But think about this. In every major metropolitan market in this country, there's at most likely there's a bunch of corporate chains. Like for a grocery store, there's gonna be a Walmart, there's gonna be a Target, and there's gonna be like a couple of token like local. There's usually like one local grocery store chain that's still around, but they're basically almost like allowed to be there because they're part of the cabal. It's like okay, we don't want everyone in America to know that just a few people control everything and have all the money and power. So we have the idea of all these different stores owned by different subsidiaries that control these food prices. We know there's been collusion with egg prices. We know there's been collusion with tuna prices. You can look this shit up. I'm not just making it up. There's massive collusion within these industries. There's massive collusions with these supermarkets. They control the price. And to say, oh, we should do, oh my God, we should do nothing about this. They're monopolies in most markets. And, and you say they have all this economic power, but they're not using it. That's the counter argument to that. I, I, I would make to these people going, oh my God, well, why not just, they didn't price gouge before? Yes, of course they did. They've always been doing it. It's just become more evident because it's being done at a more drastic rate more quickly. So people haven't had time to adjust. Yeah, you're right. If inflation is slow and it slowly creeps up, people are like, oh, it's like the frog in the pot, right? If the water just slowly boils, you know, he'll just be cooked alive. But if you throw it in, oh, and that's what happened during the pandemic. They just, the prices just accelerated so quickly and demand was so high for so many different, uh, I mean, different goods. The price has just spiraled up and they've just never even returned to any normal level. So now it's just evident to people like, hey, 
when I thought I was actually doing okay and I was kind of well off or just normal middle class, that illusion, that bubble burst, that's what really happened. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. You can't declare bankruptcy. I'm glad glad there's folks like Scotty out there that be knowing economics and shit. Yeah, bro. But what I, I want to know is which of them caterpillars going to win. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I also want to know on the caterpillars, bro. I'll tell you this, too. I know Ju Kuhn was offensive, all right? That was yeah. no good. But what about Jacoon? Ju Kuhn? Not Ju Kuhn. That one's bad. But what about Jacoon? What's the difference? Oh, dude, look here. Look here. One. Look at the comment. Bench is my favorite twink. So, <laughs> dude. He's, he suffered twink death. It's done. But how do you know? Okay, but how do you know twink death has been fully suffered? If someone I guess just twink comes death in... is in the eye of the beholder. It's like okay, so it's I do believe in fairies. I do believe in fairies. Okay, you know? so it's twink individualized. Evident. He's he's no. I mean, I agree. Like, it's like I had to I had to admit that kind of like um, Jude Law went through a twink death. You know. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah, I know what happened right? to you, Paul. You were like you were doing your usual stroke. You're like, oh my god. Then you look. You're like, oh, kind of old. Oh. God, I, and then you just go limp and you're like, what the f- can I do? Twinks yeah, do not have look beards. like old and crusty. You I, know, know. Tr- I, think yeah. I, I think there could be a twink with a, a beard. A twink could have a beard. I disagree with you on that. Anyway, that's our f- show. Everyone get out of here. I'm tired of you, mother. F- go, go suffer twink death. I'm sorry, everybody. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Hey, perfect. Well, time. I mean, anyway, so guess what? Good luck with your shift. Paul, Thanks you have any up. last words for these people? Uh, Snap your fingers, snap your neck. Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it.